Whenever we're using things like passwords, tokens, or database strings, it's always a good idea to set up some type of environment variables so we can first off reuse them over and over and over again and have one place where we can change them. But not only that, is we can have the security of it. If we push our code to GitHub, we don't have to worry about any of these connection strings or tokens getting leaked online. Now, I have heard stories of people leaking things like AWS storage tokens and getting charged $10,000 on their services because people are out looking for that. So one way to combat this is using a library called .env. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use that right here. So all we have here is a blank directory. Uh, I have a GitHub directory like I did in the last video. Um, you can have just a regular directory. Uh, this code will be up on GitHub and I'll show you exactly the deployment for that. But let's start with npm init. So we're gonna initialize this so we can use uh, a package and just enter it through all the different options and we'll create a package.json. Okay, now what we're gonna do is install npm install dot env. Now not dot, but dot env and then save that as a dev dependency. Okay, let's start with kind of writing our test here. We have this package, but we're not using it. Let's go ahead and create a server. Let's create a server folder that we have an entry point. I like, again, this, these practices of splitting this up. Then make an index.js file. Then inside there, we'll use console.log process.env. That, that is something, but we need to do our variable right here. So process.env is an object inside of Node. And then we'll do a secret message, all right? And this is a, in kind of the constant style. The constant style is uh, all capitalized and it's separated with an underscore, okay? So now if we run this, let's do a node server index. We'll see that it says undefined. Our goal is to get this to say our secret message, which we'll define. In order to do this, in the root of our file, or, fold, or directory rather, we're gonna create a file called .env. Now this is the actual dot, then E-N-V, okay? So in here's where we'll define all of our variables. We're gonna call one, let's call one secret message. And that's all we'll define right now and set it equal. And there's no strings, no quotations, no nothing. You kind of just put it there. So what we're gonna put here is uh, dev coffee likes puppies. All right, I really do, they're great. Okay, so let's try running it once more. And you'll see that it's still saying undefined. Well, that's because I haven't required or configured .env. Well, let's do a similar practice that I did in another video. We're gonna create another folder called bin. Then inside of here, we're gonna create a file called dev. So this will just be for our dev uh, environment right here. Then we're going to, and it's always a good idea. Remember this, this is mostly for development. Whenever you deploy to something like Heroku or DigitalOcean, you can set up your own environment variables in those uh, hosting services and it'll be extremely secure, but we're doing this for testing purposes right here. So in order to require this, we're gonna require .env slash config. Okay, so this is gonna go look at the .env node module and there's gonna be a config file in there and it will require that, run it. Then we're going to target our entry point, which will be server index, okay? So now if we run this, and we're gonna uh, do node bin slash dev, we'll see that dev coffee likes puppies. It's that simple. So now we can just start writing additional things. So let's go over here and just type in token and my super secret token, okay? And then I'll go over to our index and then we'll console.log process.env and then token. And this is kind of a practical use we would do for it. And there we go, my super secret token also displays. So as a last step, I wanna show you guys what this might look like if we push it to GitHub. Obviously, if we go ahead and do a git, you know, git status, we'll see that we are gonna commit our .env file, which will kind of defeat the purpose of having a .env file to begin with. So what we'll want to do is go to a git ignore. What a git ignore is, is you choose files or directories that you don't want to get pushed to GitHub. In this instance, we're just going to do .env right there and save it. So now this will not get committed. So if I go back over here and type in git status, we'll see that .env is no longer on there. So we can do a git add and git commit. Uh, 
configure.env and then push it to GitHub. Okay, and I got the GitHub repo opened right here, or actually I don't, so I gotta get my profile real quick. Repos, and there we go. We see we won't have the .env file right there, and um, inside our server we are referencing the env. So you might wanna put some documentation telling them, hey guys, set up a .env file that you can use so these tokens will be valid or the secret message will be valid. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be using .env, Babel, Nodemon, and different tools for building out our Reddit clone API. Um, next week, we're gonna have a lot more faster paced videos of us actually building out the routes and doing things with Express. But hopefully you guys got something out of this .env video and as well as a Babel video. But until next time, guys, I'm Chris Pena, and I like pins. Three. Water. Water. Water.